Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces for November 11th through the 13th. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a 72 hour forecast um, and this is going to be general. So definitely keep in mind that this is going to use or is going to require a level of discernment when viewing this because everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. Um, if you are interested also in getting a video session with me, that information will be listed below in the description box for you. And understand it is going to take 24 to 48 hours to receive your reading. Okay, this deck is in reverse. Pisces for November 11th through the 13th. Pisces for November 11th through the 13th. Pisces for November 11th through the 13th. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. The, hold on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the overall energy and what we have representing that. I do have the Garden of Gate and the King of Wands in reverse. So for a lot of my Pisces, you could be in a space of kind of being scared to venture out there and try new stuff um this could be in regards to career you could be so used to like a career field where you may be scared that if you take a leap of faith outside of that it may not be as fruitful or maybe a lot harder to adjust to you know the change others of you this could be you being scared to again step out of your comfort zone in uh, means of dating you could be you know comfortable with a partner who may be kind of a player with the king of wands in reverse this could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo or just someone who's coming up as like a player in some sort of way and you could be like not wanting to leave the relationship even though you're not completely passionate within it okay with the five of cups in reverse um, a lot of you you're also trying to recover from being stuck in the past on things that have not you know, progressed or gotten better. And this is just like overcoming a moment of crying over spilt milk as well. All right. Also, I am getting a sense that there's certain things that you're not as passionate about anymore. And you could be like realizing that it's time for you to move beyond that. Um, but it's just like stepping out of there is kind of scary. Stepping into the unknown is kind of scary for some of you. Now, when it comes to the energy surrounding love, I do have the happy family card and it's clarified by the seven of wands. So in regards to love, you could be dealing with someone who you have kids with. Um, this could even be speaking about uh, my Pisces out there who are married. You could be trying to work on your, your unit with this person. With the seven of wands, you could feel like there's a lot of uphill battles that you're running into when it comes to uh, your partner possibly being energetically difficult or just the relationship itself being kind of, again, an uphill battle, especially if you've been together for a while. There may have been years of trauma between you guys that you guys are having to overcome. Others of you, um, you could be trying to work on being more content within yourself if you're not dating uh, this could be focusing on your family matters instead of worrying about dating because with the seven of wands, like I said, you may find that dating is a little challenging at this moment and you don't really want to put too much energy in that. Um, others of you, someone who makes you pretty happy, they could be giving you a level of issues. Um, if it's not like a family unit thing I'm seeing here, it's just somebody who completes you in emotional sense, but there's just issues within the relationship. Now, when it comes to the finances and career uh, arena for you guys, we do have anxiety clarified by the temperance card. 
So for a lot of you, you are very anxious about what's going to happen next in regards to your career. This could be worrying that possibly your career is not going to remain fruitful or you could be, you know, worrying about some sort of business move that you may want to make here and you may be worried like, okay, is this actually going to work for me? Is this actually going to work out in my favor? Um, for some of you as well, there could be like some sort of new business arena that may take a lot of money to invest in. So, okay, say for instance, you're doing like wholesale and you may have to invest like $3,000 into the wholesale before you see any profit back. And you could be scared about doing something of that nature. Um, but with the temperance card, you guys are trying to remain patient when it comes to some career changes. Um, you're also trying to remain balanced as well when it comes to some new cycles that you guys are trying to start up for yourself in regards to career. Now, when it comes to the advice I can give you, I do have the storm warning card clarified by the Knight of Wands. So there's definitely a need for you to check in with yourself to see like, okay, what unstable situations you have around you currently? Is this relationships around you, especially with possibly a fire sign or just really anyone? Um, what unstable relationships you have around you that are keeping you from progressing and also putting you in a space of feeling like, you know, there's just a lot of chaos around you. And this is beyond relationships with people. This is like addressing like destructive behaviors that you may be partaking in, whether that's like um, drugs or, you know, just lashing out whenever you get upset or not consistently staying focused as well with the Knight of Wands. Um, this is also looking at what is not built to last as well. Okay, what's on shaky ground and making sure that you are nipping that in the bud before it becomes a bigger issue. Now, when it comes to the obstacle that I see here, I do have caring connections, clarifying that I do have the three of pentacles in reverse. And with this, um, the obstacle may be your relationship with your person um, or just romantic relationships. For some of you, if you're single, the issue may be love just in general. If you are in a relationship, the issue is the connection between you and your partner. Um, with the three of uh, coins in reverse, you could be wanting there to not be extra people attached. If that was an issue for others of you, it's just you guys may have issues with coming together and putting your, like putting both of your minds together to work together as far as like keeping the relationship intact. That may be a problem here. Um, clarifying that I do have the three of cups. So yeah, this could have also been like a third party situation present. But for a lot of you, just again, there's issues with you guys working things out and getting back on the same common ground because seven of swords. So it's, it's coming out. Now, when it comes to love specifically, the energy we have there, it says this could be the one and we also have the separation card. So I am seeing that there is some sort of split up that is going to be taking place if it hasn't already. Um, this is with somebody who you really thought was the one for you, or for some of you, you still think this person is the one for you. Um, it's just certain things that do need to be nipped in the bud, okay? Whether this is uh, the codependency issue here, whether that's financially, emotionally, even physically, or even just like somebody not being open, like somebody being kind of closed off and shut off, that's definitely a problem. Uh, but I am seeing if you did separate from somebody, they will be coming back around here. Uh, this is not for everyone, so don't tell me you've been hearing for a while that somebody's gonna come back. You shouldn't wait for the person to come back. You should definitely move forward with life, but this is what I'm seeing for some of you. So everybody is not gonna have somebody come back. Okay, this is just going to be for some people. I just have to throw that disclaimer out there. Um, but yeah, I am seeing that possibly someone will be coming back around for some of you. Um, it's just whether or not you will be open to it. Or for some of you, you may try to pursue someone else and they have to be open to it before things could shift. Now, the advice I can give you, is says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So instead of um, thinking negatively or always having like a negative stigma when it comes to dating or just um, getting what you deserve, 
you you have to change your mindset because if you're just automatically thinking that things are going to go to shit, that is what's going to happen. So be aware of the thoughts that you're projecting and welcome in new opportunities by vibrating on an energy of, okay, I'm, I'm willing to accept the love that I deserve. Okay. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much, Pisces, for watching this. I hope that you were able to take something from this reading. If you did, leave your girl a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you do want a video session, that information will be listed below. And I'll see each and every one of you in the next one.